<laughs> you know, I remember when uh, budget was being read <laughs> and uh, one of the taxation was on sugar. And uh, the argument was, uh, we have high cases of diabetes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we would be shocked if the government says, by the way, you know, we are dealing with this sugar issue because we don't have people to deal with that, which is <laughs> but on a light note, you know. Um, Ken, mm -hmm. for starters, with the understanding, because sugar and manufacturing in general right. offers a great potential when it comes to solving the issue that we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. unemployment. If we fix some of these sectors, imagine how many jobs can be created around the sugar belt. How did Kenya find itself here in regards to that sugar belt area just going under? Well, I think the origins of our problem in this area really were captured in the 80s. And um, you remember session paper number one of 1987 mm -hmm. really conceived of Kenya as a market economy, really private sector led. And I thought it was one of the most progressive papers written but unfortunately, we've not really followed on those ideals. Uh, there's still a huge public sector dominance in much of these segments. You talk about manufacturing. Um, indeed, we find you know government is highly involved. So there is that feeling that should we create a market environment uh, that allows manufacturers, and the manufacturing companies can be owned by the farmers. The farmers can form uh, unions that can um, own the manufacturing units. But having a price driven by markets, a supply driven by markets, because when you talk about competitiveness, it's very difficult for public sector entities to achieve competitiveness because they have other considerations. Mm -hmm. Private sectors tend to find. And if you remember Mumia's during its better days, it was a very, very well-doing company. I mean, you'd go there, you'd find even the benefits they had for staff, there were schools for the children of the staff. And I think there was that direction. It had it not been for the scandals that came between uh, 2012 and onwards, I think the company was going in the right direction. So I think it's for the government to step back and say, we want manufacturing to go up to 15% of GDP. This can only happen if we let businesses be. Mm. And as government, we create an environment and policies. Let's limit ourselves to policy making, but let the players, let the investors who know the sector much better, let them thrive. Okay. Uh, Dr. Aloni, I'm thinking, because I think with every crisis, there is an opportunity for somebody to come in. Do you remember the other time all of us were wondering, okay, do we, do we have mercury in our, in our blood <laughs> streams, you know, because those, those uh, contaminated sugar going around? Um, but the whole idea of sugar importation and an open market, um, maybe, will that be one of the incentives, first of all, of just letting the local sugar sector die out so that somebody can import or some people can import and make money of it? Um, that, that interest aspect of it, how did we end up that our mumias uh, you know, our West Kenya, our Chemi Littles are not working. Uh, for the sugar industry, it has been uh, the production cost. Because you remember, we, are, we have not been very competitive even in the East Africa region. Because you find that Sudan, was it Sudan which was producing sugar at a lower cost than us? So those have been the challenges. How much do we spend in producing sugar? You know, when you say let's uh, let somebody import sugar and uh, make uh, make uh, make some kill out of it, and probably that is one of the incentive incentives. I don't agree. Uh, it can be produced uh, with the with with the current technology. Mm -hmm. What we have been using in those sugar industry has been the old technology. Then we also have infrastructure challenges. When you go to the sugar belt, you actually find that the roads are, are done, were done long time ago. They are poor. You also have the cases of uh, the, 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 those who are helping in loading. Sometimes it, uh, they charge a lot. Mm -hmm. And then you also have uh, cases of corruption mm -hmm. uh, that have also uh, get, got into the sugar industry. 
the cartels that the president was addressing the other day, uh, Mambo Nimatatu, mm -hmm. is what it was all about, the cartels in the sugar and also the marketing marketing of the of sugar itself we also don't do it well mm -hmm. so when you look at those problems they are they are the things that explain where we are but now the truth be told let's privatize and then allow new technologies be used mm -hmm. in production of sugar okay. because after all the land that is there is still okay for sugar cane however it should be approached carefully because the the farmers might get faster maturing crops that actually they can plant and uh, they know now don't need to plant sugarcane. Like if they do avocado, for example, mm -hmm. uh, then they will, they will get returns better. So we must really approach it okay. with that in mind. All right. Mm. Uh, now, now uh, I'm glad you brought out the issue about solutions, uh, utilization of technology, incentivize the sector. Uh, this this point is that the government says it's gonna work on for starters is uh, doing away with the debt okay uh that this uh sugar companies or chemilil nine billion uh seven billion south nyanza and zoya 62 billion uh we we have a maximum of three um you know minutes at most here yeah? uh ken briefly this suggestion of paying debt off and uh, also reviving the sector through margin. What do you think about that? Uh, well, I think paying off the debts is a very welcome development because much of the revenue that these firms uh, produce goes to service debts. Mm -hmm. So instead, that money can go into capital formation, into paying bonuses, into really increasing the standards of living of the people around them. So I think that's welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, as for the merger, the question is, will they become more competitive? Will they be, become more productive? But if the issues that Prof has already outlined uh, don't go, are not resolved, you know, the infrastructure, the technology, mm -hmm. um, even the knowledge gap of the workers, are they dealing with the latest knowledge from the universities? Okay. If you don't uh, follow those productivity theories, it doesn't matter whether it's going to be merged or whether it's individual. Uh, what do you think of that in less than 10 seconds, Prof? Three things that the government has said that they are writing off the debt. That is good, tick. Uh, leasing. If the things that have been listed there will be done, mm -hmm. then that will be good. Okay. The only thing is whether they will be done or not. Okay. Uh, then in terms of uh, the other one was merging, I think only one, two sugar plantations, uh, two sugar producing uh, uh, places are Maj Muroni and mm -hmm. Chemelil. Mm -hmm. They are near to each other. If you've been there, you will actually see it's 10 kilometers to Muroni from Chemelil. Okay. So probably they are thinking in terms of that. Okay. As to whether it will do something, time will tell. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Time will tell. But that time that will tell, we are out of it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, always a pleasure having you on Biz Chat. Thank you very much for joining with us. Also, our viewers, thank you for joining with Business Today throughout the week. Really appreciate you. I'm Noah Kipkimboy. I was with Ken Kishinga and Dr. Tobias Olwenyi on Biz Chat here. Have yourself a blessed weekend. And always, I have one constant quote. And it comes from Ken. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Enjoy your weekend. God bless. <laughs>
phone companies had started running out of ideas. But here is one. We literally fold everything we use on our day to day. Why not phones? Well, that's what smartphone companies are doing and it's starting to make sense. Samsung is uh, the category uh, creator of this uh, flip and fold. We are now in the fifth generation of uh, flip and, uh, and, and fold uh, phones. Um, if you look at the user experience, um, we, we went back to our customers.